Hey girlfriends, I am back with another product battle. So today we are going to be battling Shea Moisture. We are going to be looking at the Coconut and Hibiscus Flaxseed Defining Styling Gel and the Coconut Hibiscus Curling Gel Souffle. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to put head to head are the directions um, and ingredients. The styling gel says to apply a small amount to wet hair, build as needed, a little goes a long way, style as desired, perfect for achieving to style braid out or wash and go styles. As far as the ingredients go, I'm going to read the first five. It is water, pro, <laughs> I should have read this before, right? Polysorbate, carbamore, shea butter, and then coconut oil. Now, y'all know how I feel about coconut oil. Maybe you don't, but with the type of hair that I have, I generally does not go well. However, it's number five, so we're gonna see. Now, as far as the curling souffle, it says apply sparingly on wet or dry hair, comb through with a wide tooth comb or fingers to shape curls for coily, kinky hair, or for twist styles, apply to wet hair for maximum control. Sealing properties allow time to dry when using a blow dryer. Choose a cool setting, apply to dry hair to reduce flyaways and frizz. So I guess like if you wanna use it as like a edge control or something like that. Um, and so let's get into these ingredients. The souffle is number one, glycerin, water, hydrolyzed cornstarch, uh, propanoidol, and then shea butter, and then coconut oil. The gel is going to win this. <laughs> Even though there is coconut oil in both of these, the number one ingredient in this product in the curling gel souffle is glycerin. So, I'm really kind of skeptical about how this is going to turn out. So let's get into the actual textures of these products where I will open it up for you. And we'll just kind of look and see what they look like. Um, they, it, okay, I'm opening the souffle. It smells good. If you've ever used Shea Moisture, Coconut Hibiscus, the, there's like the curl milk, then this is what it smells like. I thought about using that as a lead-in. One of the main ingredients for that is coconut oil. And so I was like, mm, yeah, I'm already using these other two products with the coconut oil in it. Let me not do too much. The styling gel is literally not jiggly gel. It, you know, has some buoyancy to it. It feels good. It actually doesn't feel as thick as some gels are. Now this souffle is more like a jelly. It's not running. It's actually holding together. And oh, it's hard, y'all. That's funny. So this is hard to even, I don't know y'all, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I don't know what this is gonna turn out to be. Um, it's like a jello, it's like a, it's, listen, souffle, it's like a jelly. So I actually just wet my hair, it's soaking wet right now. I do have a water bottle that I'll be using if I need to re-wet my hair. I washed my hair a couple days ago. So today is Monday. I washed my hair on Saturday. But I had forgotten that we had plants. And so as a result, I just got out of the shower, put my hair in two small buns and left. And it's kind of been tied up like that. I didn't put any product in my hair, but it's been tied up like that since. So this is the gel. And it did say start a little bit. Y'all know I'm so heavy handed with product. Sunday was actually a busy day. Basically Saturday and Sunday 
was more busy for me than it normally is. Um, and I just haven't, I didn't have the time to do my hair that I normally would. So I'm here, it's Monday. My husband is with the kids for dinner time. I'm like, oh, let me go get in there. Plus, I, I just felt like my hair was dry. There was nothing on my hair. So this is the gel. The application is nice. It's not necessarily clumping my hair up. As good as some of my Holy Grail products. Okay. So. What I'm gonna do since Just get out. I'm gonna do section by section. I will probably fast forward with this video for you to see final product. This is the souffle. Oh, you know what? I'm forgetting I'm not in my. Just getting out of the shower state when my hair is like kind of dripping and already. Very detangled. Oh, I'm just applying the problem. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know about this product, y'all. And you know what I think it is, honestly. I think it's all just glycerin. Like, it's not even doing nothing. <laughs> For my hair. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this one. So as far as application, the application of products definitely goes to the gel because I don't want to say that it feels like I'm not putting anything on my hair, but it just, it feels like, uh, I don't know, it feels like it's just sitting on top of my hair. I, like, I literally don't even know what's happening. So even look, look, the difference for that, to that, like what is it, what's, what, what's happening? So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this hair. I'm gonna get through it just to let you see final results but as far as this round of Shea Moisture I kind of feel like I know where our winner is going to be oh one of the other categories if you will that I meant to be able to compare was price but I forgot to check it I'll make sure to include the price in the description so that you guys can see which one is more. You're actually getting, let me see, I can tell you this, you're getting 15 ounces of the gel and you're getting 12 ounces of the souffle. If you've ever used the souffle and it was just like amazing for you, I would love for you to comment below so I can see like either your hair texture or your technique. You know, it's, well, let me say it like this. If you have a similar hair texture as me and you use the souffle and you loved it, 
I would love for you to tag me in a comment because if you have a different hair texture, different porosity, then it'll make sense as to why this is working for you and why my hair looks like this. How y'all feel about me going section by section from one side to the other? And then y'all, what's gonna frustrate me is that this is the larger section of my hair. So, I'm going to have to wash my hair tomorrow. <laughs> Whenever this dries. Because this ain't gonna do it. Like, I can just already tell you right now. It's not gonna do it. <sighs> but that's why we're here, right? That is the whole goal of finding out where my curls at. Figuring out which product help us. See our curls versus versus nuts. By the way, this is my try and true handy dandy tangle teaser. I have used a tangle teaser from the beginning of this natural hair journey. I started out with the one without a handle, and then they start making these with a handle, and I love it. And then you, this one is actually a bigger one with the handle because I, I had a medium sized one with the handle or I have a medium sized one with the handle that I use for my daughter's hair. And then I saw that they had a larger one. I was like, oh yes, that's it. Need it, got it, love it. This hair, this souffle, not so much. After today, I never will see <laughs> this souffle on my hair again. I don't even know why they put coily hair on there. I know they said something about twist outs, but I wouldn't even use that product for a twist out. Like, mm -mm. I was thinking about this the other day because I used a different gel. And when I tell y'all, my hair was okay after I put the product in, right? But once it dried, my hair was so hard and, and super dry and there was no curl definition in my hair and I kind of got upset. I was like, there is people walking around believing that their hair can't do a thing or their hair, like, there's people walking around thinking that this is what their natural hair looks like because they have never tried a different product or because they tried a product and was like, like, this only look, this literally looked like my hair is just wet. I don't, <sighs> So as I was saying, some of y'all are walking around believing lies about your hair basically. Because of the product that you use. And that's unfortunate. My hope for doing these product battles is that you're able to see different products and more important different ingredients make your hair look different ways. So it's not necessarily your hair, right? It's not necessarily like, oh, my hair is so bad. You know, I can't do it wash and go. My hair don't curl. You could just be using the wrong product. You could just be using the wrong ingredients. This is why I said in a couple videos ago, make sure that you know. See, I know this is not surprising to me at all that this product is doing this. Because I know that glycerin is not my hair's friend. I know that coconut oil is not my hair's friend. My hair does not love either one of these. 
So I'm not surprised. And then don't don't get me talking. You know, it's like mm, it's like the saying when they show you who who they are, believe them. These products, these in, well, these ingredients, because it's not necessarily Shea Moisture, right? So I'm not gonna write off all of Shea Moisture's products. But these ingredients, products with these ingredients have showed me who they are. And so I believe them. And so even when, you know, I go into a situation where I'm trying to be hopeful, where I'm trying to be like, okay, may, you know, this is, this is what gets me. Maybe this combination of the ingredients will be different today. Okay, I, my hair don't like coconut oil, but maybe how they put it together, it'll be different. Right? It's the same thing we're doing these relationships to be in. People that showed us who they are, we know, and we think, oh, well, maybe on this day, or maybe after this event, or maybe after this experience, they're gonna be different, they're gonna do something different. It'd be the same old G. After all that. So, just believe, folks. When they show you who they are, just believe them. When these ingredients, you know, when you use something, look at the ingredients and your hair reacts in a way that has never reacted before. Like, try to go through the ingredients and figure out what's in this product that I've never used before. What ingredient is in this product that is not in any of the other products that I've used before? Right? Oh, this has coconut in it? Coconut oil in it? Mm, not for me. Try it again. Get another product with coconut oil in it. See if it affects you the same way. But once you have enough experience with that thing, Believe me, because that's where I am. And that's why I always call it these ingredients because for me in my house, <laughs> for me in my hair, right? I know what it is or is it gonna do. Um, one of the other things that I was just thinking about, this is just, mm -hmm. one of the other things that I was just thinking about is I will also be doing product battles with botanical gels. So when we're talking about ingredients, what people are finding, people in the natural hair community are finding is that using products that are botanically based, right? So all that means is that they occur in nature versus chemically based uh, products that are being made in a science lab right they're being made so like the ones that I can't hardly pronounce versus a shea butter versus a uh, olive oil versus peppermint oil <sighs> they're finding that these botanically based gels and hair products are working on our hair better go figure who, who would have thought instead of putting all of these chemicals in our hair. That there are actually ingredients and things on God's green earth to do for our hair the way we want it to do. Who would have thought versus having to make it up in a lab by probably people who don't have hair like us in the first place. To get it to do as what we're telling them we want to do or what they think it should be doing. Who knows? So I'm sorry, I'm on my little <laughs> I feel like I'm on my little snowballs right now because for one, I had already had that thought revisit me. And then for two, just putting this in my hair and it absolutely being of no use whatsoever. It's causing like shed hair to come out.
This is just. <laughs> It's almost ridiculous. But like I said, we're here. So we 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 are going to finish well. This time where where I've been surprised, right? Where I thought something was gonna go one way and then after you go through everything, you let it do what it's gonna do, you're like, oh okay, that turned out better or it turned out worse. So we just gotta commit to this process. We're here. We're gonna see it through. Before we render our final judgment. Oh, the other thing that was weird is it, this. these products. I think it's this product. It might have been. It might have been something else I was reading. But I'll say this. I think it's weird for any product to say to start at your scalp and work your way down because I normally started about to work my way up. Maybe it's me. Maybe I need to be doing what they say. So this gel application is just Honestly, it's not dissimilar from any other gel application that I've experienced. Now, one thing that I will say as it pertains to botanical versus chemical products is I am still doing my research on what qualifies a product to be called botanical. Like, is it just something that they have to make sure they include in their title or on their packaging to say botanical gel because you can you can search botanical gels and see the list of gels that fall under that category but it's like spaghetti sauce is made out of tomatoes right so if you're looking for spaghetti sauce you want to make sure that you find tomatoes in all of sp spaghetti sauce and if there's not tomatoes, and you're like, oh, okay, that's Alfredo sauce. And that could be a very bad analogy. <laughs> but go with me. I'm just trying to find out how can I just like readily look at ingredients and say, oh, this is botanical, oh, this isn't, because this ingredient is in this product, so this ingredient qual disqualifies it from being a botanical garb. Botanical garden. <laughs> we have the botanical gardens here in Atlanta. This ingredient disqualifies it from being a botanical product. Is these ingredients do qualify it to be a botanical product? I I want to be able to. It's like this, and then it's this the the way the product is. It's like you gotta smush it up and. In order to even apply it, it's just it ain't even worth it. It's worth what it's looking like. This is just oh lord. So y'all see that, right? Y'all hear the water falling off? I told you it's like it's just sitting on top. It's just, it ain't even like capturing the water. I'm just like, thank God, I don't have nowhere to go tomorrow. But I, because I really feel like this hair is gonna be stuck to my head when I go to sleep. It's making me mad, y'all. I, I literally, I can't describe because it's like, obviously I'm putting something on my hair, but it's not doing anything. 
So I'm like, I'm baffled. <sighs> I am so confused. So I'm gonna do a slow turn for you. is winning I predict that it will continue to win once the hair is dry however you know I, I do want to see the product battle all the way through its end and I'll be back alright y'all I tried Set under the dryer on cool. I let for like 40 minutes. This side of my hair is mostly dry. Like I, I could do this, but this I I have to go to sleep now. And I can't I can't. The stuff is still in my hair, like, I don't know. I tried, I really, really tried, but I, like I said, gotta go to sleep, gotta get up tomorrow, and I can't, I can't, y'all see my shirt, so, yeah. I'm going to have to call it. <laughs> this product battle definitely went to the Defining Styling Gel. And y'all know, this ain't even nothing for me, for my hair, for how I do my hair. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in the next video.